Currently, the world cannot function without mobile and web application. Everything has gone digital from meal order to flight booking to bank transactions and thanks to well-designed framework that ensure a smooth user experience. React is one such powerful front-end library. React is in a UI development library based on JavaScript and it is run by Facebook and an open source developer community. Even though React is more of a library than a language, it is frequently utilized in web development. The library released in May 2013 and has since grown to become one of the most widely used front-end libraries for web development. Now, if you want to learn React, you need to first understand why to choose React. Today, React's popularity has overtaken all other front-end development framework and the most obvious reasons are easy production of dynamic online applications. So React makes it easier to create dynamic web applications by requiring less coding and providing more functionality as opposed to JavaScript, which can quickly become difficult. Improved performance. React makes advantage of virtual DOM to speed up the development of web pages. Instead of updating all the components again and again, virtual DOM analyzes their prior state and only updates the things in the real DOM that have changed. That has significantly improved the speed of the apps that has designed on React. Reusable components. Components are the foundation of any React application and most apps have numerous components. These components have their own logic and controls and they may have reused across the project, reducing development time significantly. Unidirectional data flow. The data flow in React is unidirectional. As a result, developer frequently nest child component within parent components when developing a React app. Because data flow in a single path Debugging folds and determining where the problem arises in an application at any given time becomes easier. Small learning curve. React is simple to pick up since it mixes core HTML and JavaScript concepts with a few helpful features. Still, like other technologies and framework, you need to devote some effort to learn React library. It can be used for the development of both web and mobile apps. React is well known for its usage in the creation of online application, but that's not all it can do. React Native is a popular framework that is derived from React itself and it is used to create stunning mobile application. React may thus be used to create both web and mobile application. So learning React can open two gates for you. You can go for web apps or you can go for mobile apps. Dedicated tools for easy debugging. Of course, when we build any application, easy debugging is required. So a Chrome extension for debugging React applications has been released by Facebook. Debugging React web application become much faster and easier because of this. So the following points are more than enough to explain why React library is so powerful and why so many organization and enterprises are using it. If I talk about architecture, like we have MDC architecture, so React is basically inside this V. So React is the view in this model view controller architecture responsible for how the app appears and feel. So MVC is an architectural pattern that split the application layer into model, view and controller. So the model relates to all data related logic. The view is used for UI logic and the controller is an interface between the model and the view. So React basically a view part of your application. So you, now you must be wondering who else are using React. So there are so many big brands or companies that are already using React somehow in their project to build the UI. So if I talk about Facebook, when you can see the functionality for which React is responsible on Facebook, especially when the key element of a page load immediately when it's being updated. Thanks to this, you receive the update information. This is reflected, for example, when the latest update comment or like of a friend from a Facebook appear. As you know, there is no need to reload the entire page. You can interact then like click, share button, etc. and still gets an immediate response from a web page without having to load a page. So there exactly React is using. Most people probably know this brand, Uber Eats. But maybe not everyone know that browsing, ordering and tracking order is result of using React.js. The absolute leader in its line of business in 2015, Netflix used React to redesign its UI. The decision came from need for improving launching speed, performance and modularity. Over the years, the website has undergone numerous changes and updates, but React remained the main tool for creating its front end. 
component reusability was also an argument for Airbnb choice for React. The Airbnb developer have actively contributed to the development of entire React ecosystem. Other than these many other brands like Code Academy and Dropbox and many more are also using React to build amazing user experience. Now let's talk about a very important point and that is a market value. Because if you choose any language, you need to understand how it's doing in the market. Is it really worth to devote your time to this technology? So let's check. If I search on Google Trend and look for React, and as of now, I'm just checking for India, and let's compare it with Angular. Over the past 12 months, you can see React is on top. And even if I go with Vue, so in India market, you can see React and Angular is somehow doing good, but React is on top. And if I change it to worldwide, let's see how it will change. So can you see the difference? So React is more popularly adopted by developer across the globe as compared to other framework and libraries. So choosing the right JavaScript framework is one of the most important steps towards making your web application a success. So whether you are working on a small project or, or on a large one, whether you are working on solo or in a team, each of these details play a crucial role in determining which framework is best for your project. So I will suggest you understand all these things that I have explained you in this video and based on those observations decide whether you want to go with React or not. My personal experience says that React is quite easy to learn and it, it is using in most of the projects these days you should give it a chance and you should give it and you should learn it as it will open a lots of scope in the market for you. So now to learn React, we need to understand like what's the prerequisite to learn. So before you can code using React, you just need a very basic understanding of HTML, CSS and JavaScript and JavaScript also the EX6 features that we are going to use. So I have already created a video on these EX6 concept. You can take a look on that. So basically to write React code, we are going to use a syntax using JSX. So for that, you might need a little knowledge of HTML and JavaScript. You can go and do the brush up on these technology before starting with React because it will help you to write a clean code when you have the understanding of these languages. But if you don't have, then don't worry. I will explain you in detail about everything. So you can just follow my videos on React and by time it will start making sense to you. So I hope this video will give you a very high level understanding of React. And we are going to discuss more in detail about these concepts one by one in the upcoming video. Till then, stay connected and stay safe. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.